Welcome to Whitman R9 Placing Program Part 2 using in text editor. This video will demonstrate how to insert a placing program, which might also be called a stacking program or palletizing program, into your teach program in the Whitman Robot R9 Control Systems text editor. To learn how to initially create a placing program, see the video R9 Placing Program Part 1, Creating. Open the text editor by choosing the Edit button and then the Text tab and proceed to the line where you want to insert the placing program. In this case, I'm going to replace what was the y-axis moved downward to place the part with a placing program instead. Highlight the desired line. It should be noted that in order to use a placing program in your teach program, you have to have created a placing program first. To see what you have for existing placing programs, you can pull down the bar menu and then at the bottom, choose the Placing Program button. You can now see that we have one existing Placing Program, Placing Program 001. Make sure that you close the bar menu when you are done with it, because you won't be allowed to step any lines in the Teach program if this menu is open. From the initial Teach menu, choose the right arrow button, which brings you to the More menu. Choose the Placing Program button. Note that this button will not appear if you have not created any placing programs. Once the Placing Program window is shown, you will have the following choices. In the Placing Program drop-down list, you can select the placing program you wish to use. You can check the details of the selected placing program by selecting the View button next to the list. Next, you can select whether you want to stack or unstack with the placing program. Stacking means the robot will begin at the first part placing position and continue until it reaches the final part in the stack. Unstacking means that the robot will start with the final part in the stack and continue until it reaches the first part placing position. You would, of course, have to pick up parts from the stack rather than drop them off. Next are selections to deactivate two types of monitoring which are normally done during the execution of the placing program. Stack monitoring will produce an error if the placing program is attempted from below the current stack height. Box monitoring will produce an error if the placing program is attempted from below the current box height. If you get these errors when attempting to execute the placing program, you may disable either monitoring type by selecting the Deactivate checkbox here. These errors will often be associated with the use of the 3D function in the placing program. The last item determines whether you would like to use an additional counter to keep track of all parts placed with the placing program. If you select this option, you must also select which counter you would like to use as the additional counter. This counter will not be reset when the placing program begins another stack. So this counter will keep a running tally of all parts placed using this placing program regardless of how many stacks are performed. You may reset the counter in your program whenever you decide that it should be reset. Select the Insert button to insert the placing program 
into your TEACH program. Every time you add an instruction to your TEACH program in the R9 control, the instruction is inserted. Unlike the R8 control, which would perform an overwrite, the line the cursor was on and all lines below it would be bumped down one line. For this reason, you can see that the original line that I wanted to replace, the Y-axis move instruction, is still here. So I need to remember to delete that line. You may step on the placing program instruction repeatedly to see the robot perform each of the stacked positions. I'm going to select the test button to go to the test screen where I could see the robot perform the instruction. I'm using the offline editor here, but if you are using an actual robot, it won't matter whether you step instructions in the text editor or in the test screen, your robot will move either way. So use caution when stepping on program lines. Here's my placing program, and when I use the step key, actually, I'm going to flip that C axis down first. Let's go to the manual screen, flip the C axis down, and then go back to the test screen and step on my placing program, and it should go to the first part placing position. Here's the step key over here. If I want to step through the entire program, I can just highlight the placing program line again and step on it again. It should now go to the second part in the stack. And I can keep on doing that. Until I have seen all of the parts in the stack and have verified that the stack is what I want. Thank you for watching here at Whitman, the world of innovation.